Most people can't remember what they ate last week, let alone where they were a year ago. But for people all over the world, the moment they heard about the September 11th hijackings will forever haunt their memories. Here are your memories of then and reflections on where we are now, both as a region and nation. And as I turned the lock and opened the door, I heard my executive assistant, Colleen, scream. And I ran in the direction of the scream, found her in one of the inner executive offices watching the television. And she pointed to it with a horrified look on her face and her hand over her mouth. And I watched as a replay of the plane hitting the second tower was being shown. Going back 10 years ago, I was in sixth grade. I remember rushing into my third period and um, our school was kind of like in havoc, like it's just chaos, you know, our teachers were kind of, you know, no, no, stay in class, stay in class, the, the rest of the classes are canceled. So for a sixth grader, it was just kind of like, you know, what's going on, like confusion. I was at home and uh, actually I was recovering from some minor surgery and uh, I was due back in a, about two or three days, but when this had occurred, I came, I came back immediately that day. But I was at home and uh, actually watching the morning news, Today Show, and uh, they said it could have been an accident, but then it got worse and worse and it was frightening, it really was. We just got up to go to work and uh, listen to the news and they said a plane hit the tower and you know, thought, you know, sightseeing airplanes, something like that. And shaved, and got cleaned up and went and turned on the TV because I just had the radio on. And they showed the jet going in and I went and woke my daughter up and told her. Then I hung around for a while and watched it and started going to work and I heard it on the radio another one came in. It was pretty dramatic. Images of these extremists and their acts that kind of really brought um, a lot of the misunderstandings for certain people. I remember we had like this I love Allah bumper sticker and um, Allah is the Arabic word for God. So um, I remember we were driving and we were like on like uh, one of our roads we were turning and a driver in the other lane um, kind of came up to our car and um, there were about like there were I think two or three passengers in that car but the passenger in the back seat um, put the put the windows down and kind of came out and had like a bat and I remember like shattered like the back it's like our religion or our our society or community was never really given a chance Islam is a religion of peace a religion in a sense was attacked my birthday. It's, it's one you won't forget. Well, you can't forget your birthday anyway, but it, it's definitely a solemn reminder. It kind of takes... Eh, I don't have parties anymore anyway. Too old to be worried about that. But it just kind of puts a solemn end on, on something that should be different. And not here very long, and it's nice to celebrate another year. Once in a while, it kind of takes a celebration out. To me, it's, it's, it was a wake-up call. It was a wake-up call that, uh, uh, that we really weren't prepared. Well, actually, a lot of good came out of that, a lot of planning. We've, uh, from a professional standpoint, taken much more pains to plan for um, unanticipated emergencies. Uh, but the more you plan for those things, the less prepared you feel because you realize that there are so many contingencies you can't possibly plan for, the more vulnerable you feel. In the 10 years, our nation's grown. People accepting people of different cultures and faith, that's what I really like. And it's, it's, a good, it's been good 10 years of learning.